Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys another hidden and forgotten location in the world of Grand Theft Auto 5, that being the rundown home of the perverted cheating tennis coach. That's right. You guys really loved the video that I did the other day covering Solomon Richards' forgotten movie studio office. A lot of you guys said you had no idea that this existed, and I'm sure that a lot of you guys are going to think the same about this forgotten rundown house of the tennis coach from the very start of the game. So I got the inspiration from this video from my good friend Zach Cox TV. You can check out his channel in the description. He covered this video the other day and he made some really good points. So go over there and check it out. So we actually first meet this perverted tennis coach, which you'll find out a little bit later on in like the third mission of the game when Franklin is asked to break into Michael's house and steal like that car, that yellow truck that Jimmy purchased. He wasn't obviously able to make the payments and so a repossession was happening. Franklin's job was to go inside of the house and to get the truck from the locked garage. And while this was happening, there's like a few scenes where you can see uh, both his daughter and his son and also his wife having kind of like an intimate, very sexualist moment with the perverted tennis coach. And when Franklin walks down the stairs, you can immediately see that and it's super awkward and it's just like you know that something is going on between them and that you know like you can almost like sense the foreshadowing that a little bit later down the line, something is gonna happen between these two that's not gonna make Michael very happy so obviously you guessed it just a few short missions later we actually find Michael returning to his house where he notices something suspicious going on with the tennis coach and his wife he finds them upstairs cheating in his bed where he proceeds to just completely run the tennis coach right out of his house and this leads actually to the start and plot of the entire Grand Theft Auto game. Without this tennis coach having a thing for Michael's wife, it doesn't look like the entire story of Grand Theft Auto 5 would even happen because if there wasn't the cheating wife, there would be no need for Michael to chase down this tennis coach, which we know he goes to Martin Madrazo's house, which you can see right here. And if he didn't go to Martin Madrazo's house, he would have never pulled his porch down, meaning he would never have to pay for the porch and he would have never done the jewel heist and would have never met Trevor. So it's kind of interesting how things play out. But anyways, let's talk about the secret location. And actually right across the street, from Martin Madrazo's house is this rundown shack. And if you just look at it from the street, you wouldn't think anything of it. It would have been like any other house in Grand Theft Auto 5, except this one was a little bit more rundown. However, if you examine it more, you'll notice that it has some interesting traits and characteristics of our tennis coach. So the first thing you notice if you go up to the front door is a pink tennis racket, which is kind of indicative of a girl tennis player. So it kind of indicates that another female or even maybe Michael's wife has actually been over to his house to do some sort of a fair activity, which I think is pretty interesting. Also, if you go over to the garage door, you'll notice that underneath there's a few tennis balls and also two more tennis rackets. So again, more evidence that could suggest that this is not only the tennis coach's house, but he's had other guests as well. And if you move on over to the backyard, you'll notice a few more kind of tennis-esque Easter eggs. One of them is a mannequin that has some sort of like woman's tennis dress on there. And also a few tennis balls on the ground and an automated uh, tennis ball hopper shooter. So you could like play tennis by yourself. You would just put the balls in there and it would fire it back at you. So this is pretty interesting. This is like one crazy rundown shack. But I guess if you're a tennis instructor, you're not going to be making great money, especially if you're only coaching, you know, housewives so I guess this is a house that does suit him and if you go over to the back porch you'll notice something even more creepier which is a bunch of pornographic sexual magazines on the porch so that's why at the end of the day this guy is a perverted cheating tennis instructor that sparks the entire plot of Grand Theft Auto 5 so I thought this was pretty interesting Anyways, let me know what you think about this secret and hidden location in the comment section down below. If you also have any more that you'd like me to cover, be sure to let me know there as well. If you did enjoy the video, a like rating would be awesome, so hit that thumbs up button. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. Without the wait, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.